Hello everybody and welcome to Romanceville's Tarot. I'm about to begin here with a reading, now general reading, so that being said it might not resonate with everybody so please do take whatever resonates with you, whatever you're feeling comfortable with and the rest of it, toss it aside. If it doesn't feel right, it most likely is not meant for you and that's okay. It's a general reading so it does happen. However, if you would like to inquire about having your own personal reading, please do contact me, romancefultarot at gmail.com. Also, if you um, have not yet subscribed to the channel, please do take a brief moment of your time and click the subscribe button to show your support to the channel and to myself and it would be greatly appreciated. So with no further ado, we are going to begin this reading. This reading is a very exciting reading. I would like to say first of all that it is for the sign of Virgo. Um, I have, before clicking onto the, um, onto the record button, I have channeled for the sign of Virgo three messages from the universe on true love. Now, this is true love on the viewpoint of the universe. What is that? That is all about bringing joy and love and romance into your life. It's a Virgo. Here we go. We have inner peace, intimacy, and resolving conflict. So, let's begin. Let's begin with inner peace since it is the very first one who came out. You must know that you're unique and that you're valuable. Be yourself and attract the love that is especially created for you. There are very few things that are more challenging to your self-esteem than living without that special someone in your life or being in an unhappy relationship. Many people wonder, what's wrong with me? Hmm, has that ever happened to you? Of course, the truth here is that there's nothing wrong, although it can certainly feel that way. Another common unhealthy attitude is that, you know, other people or the opposite sex are in the wrong, and neither of these ideas are helpful. Neither. Even if the love of your life came sweeping into your world today, he or she would not be able to alter your sense of self completely. Now really is the time to take a clear look at yourself through loving and empowering eyes. You need to sit with your journal and write down everything that you've accomplished in your life. Write down what you and other people like about you. Write down everything that you're good at and everything that you have to offer in a relationship. And this simple, very simple exercise is going to help you understand that you are, and you always have been, enough. You receive this message by the universe today because the universe is urging you to value your uniqueness and to consider that you are simply enough. Everyone feels that they could do, be, or achieve more. It's great to have goals or to strive to improve yourself and being the very best that you can be. And it's a genuinely powerful way to live. It is. The trick is to live it from a place of excitement. With a willingness to discover what's possible for you, not because you're compensating for feeling less than, no, realizing that you're enough the way that you are takes time. It takes spiritual awareness. It takes emotional maturity. You need to make time in your life to cultivate that confidence. Really, listen to people when they pay you a compliment. Don't deflect it or diminish it. We do that just all the time. Don't do that. Remind yourself daily that everything in the universe, every snowflake, every tree, every flower, every person has a place. And you are meant to be you and you are enough just the way that you are. So this is all about your inner peace. Moving on to intimacy. True intimacy occurs when you reveal your tender, your innocent, and your idealistic side of yourself. Now, be open to its loving influence in your life. So, true intimacy is really a powerful and it's a beautiful energy that will transform your relationships. Most of us have experienced physical intimacy, yet we all know that that is not enough. It is not enough to sustain a full relationship. Emotional and spiritual intimacies are really the key to a deeper connection. In recent years, intimacy between friends and partners really has been replaced by sharing emotional and spiritual wounds. But the angels and the guides say that your potential of existing partner is not meant to be your healer and is not meant to be neither your therapist. 
In fact, there's a tendency to bring your past hurts and your disappointments into conversations with your beloved can really actually keep them alive or unconsciously make your partner feel responsible for fixing you and your problems. And those matters are best dealt with by an objective and a caring professional, not with your current partner. Okay, anything that was from the past, leave it into the past. Don't discuss it with your partner right now. You're going to bring up some different issues. The kind of intimacy your heart truly desires shows up when you and your partner reveal the innocent, the tender, and the idealistic and really creative sides of yourself to one another. These parts of your personality can be playful, cheeky, irreverent, childlike. They can be joyful. They are not concerned about what the neighbors think. Of course, intimacy can include your secret fears with your partner also. But do so in a way that makes it clear that you are simply revealing an intimate truth about yourself rather than burdening your beloved with your concerns. Intimacy also includes physical closeness. Finding one another, washing, it could be washing the hair, it could be placing a blanket over your partner when they fall asleep, having a bath. Really, some of the most profound and intimate moments happen when there is no conversation and all of your beautiful connection is simply enhanced by just that glorious, sweet and graceful, like it's just enhanced by, it could be a glorious little bird onto a little tree, okay? Um, really, when you receive this message today, it's because your soul longs for you to understand how real intimacy um, arises and how to make yourself available to its loving influences. But from now on, and we're going to finish this up with a resolving of a conflict. You need to embrace this opportunity to create a greater understanding and a connection with your beloved. Misunderstandings, disagreements, arguments, and conflict can be very, very distressing in a relationship, especially with someone that you really love. And whether you like it or not, conflict's going to occur. It does occur even between people who are extremely compatible. It just happens. For most people, it's not possible to completely avoid conflict in a relationship. So what is the solution? What do you do to avoid that conflict? Now, conflict actually presents an amazing opportunity. When, um, when there's a disagreement or there's a misunderstanding that arises, it's offering you a wonderful chance to understand yourself is what it's doing. Uh, and your partner and really both of your communication styles, okay? Um, more clearly. And when you become curt or angry with each other, what you're really saying is, I don't feel listened to, or I don't feel like you care about what I think or what I want. Now, the real reason conflicts arises is because someone feels afraid and they feel hurt. Fear of not having our needs met and the hurt we experience when our feelings are seemingly overlooked are really the most common reasons for attacking another while defending ourselves. You have received this message today because healing your fear of any type of conflict is going to benefit the quality of your future and your existing relationships. Being human really just means that you're going to occasionally experience conflict, whether um, whether you're you know in the, you're an existing relationship or not. You're going to have the conflict. It is for sure. It is going to be there. Whether you see yourself as the passive or the aggressive one, the victim or the perpetrator, it doesn't matter which side you're on. It's a dynamic that we all experience on occasion. We don't like it, but we must experience it. But we must learn from it and we must grow from it. The next time you find yourself in a disagreement with someone, don't run away. Don't ignore it. Don't become aggressive. Embrace the opportunity to understand them, yourself and the situation more clearly. The key to unlocking the grip of conflict and shifting the conversation to a healing level is by asking, what do you really mean by that? That is a non-confrontation. Okay, I'm having problems with that word right now. It's a non-confrontational and open while creating a space for people to express themselves truthfully and really discover um, the real issue. So asking this question in a calm matter is going to make it clear that um, you generally want to know, you want to ask, you want to really, you know, you want to know what do you mean by that? And you're going to, um, by doing so, your partner 
is going to realize that you truly do want to help. You truly do want to understand. You truly do want to find um, an outcome. You want to try and find a solution to the conflict at hand. And it's just going to bring a completely different perspective to the resolving conflict. So that being said, this does conclude this reading. My dear friends, I do hope that you enjoy this reading. I hope that you um, are able to take some of it in. I hope you're going to be able to apply some of it to your relationships. This has been your true love reading by the universe. I hope that you enjoyed it. Um, any questions, you know how to contact me. Please don't forget to subscribe and have yourself a beautiful day. Thank you for being there and I'll see you soon.